That's a full fucking house today, huh? Oh, 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 the ZZ Meister. Hold on, three, two, one. I just used my ult. I just stole. I can't do it like you, dog. Is that, is that Seppi's wet hands? Is that is that what I'm hearing? I was trying to steal his ult, but he's too good, you know. <laughs> Fucking guy, Seppi, you do it so different. A lot more clarity. <laughs> yeah, Seppi really gets into it. You can you can tell he's like, <gasps> and then get, he gets into it. So. Touche, homie. Touche. You know, dude, it just comes with the. What uh... <laughs> well, I'm gonna ask one of my Korean motherfucking friends to tell me what the fuck that means. Yo, what is this dude been spitting? Ask a Japanese person. Oh, my bad. Japanese nigga. Yeah, the, the, the vanilla face. Whoa! You know? So. What happened? Someone hit the brakes or shit or what? <coughs> what, what are you guys doing? I'm right where you left me. Mm. Killing dwarves. <laughs> Yo man, let me ask everybody. And I still quick. haven't thought of the answer to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Seppi Mao and, and is that torta? Yeah, torta. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna ask y'all a question real quick. Uh, the Oracle and Adam and myself have already had this discussion, but I'm gonna just start from the bottom and then we're gonna go up. The first question is, what do you guys think about? Oh. Okay, no, no, that's este cabrón mal parido. No. <laughs> um, what do you think about calling people stupid? You think we should start calling people stupid when they're being stupid? So maybe that peer pressure could be positive, or negative. Or what do you think about that? We want to normal. Stupid. We want to normalize it. I love you, Dark Lord. Stupid. What a Dark Lord. Yeah. Could be. I I said he's gonna what be else? on my side here. I bet. No, but what do you, what yeah, do you think? Just, just be a bitch. open discussion between Seppi Mao and Seppi's... Torta. Like, what do you guys think? Uh, all right. I I can um. I can, so I think that it's, it's, sh it should be, there should be cases in which you are able to call people stupid. Sometimes the proper insult or the proper like checking of someone's, um, intellect can make them improve depending on, you know, how they take it. Uh, and I feel that if you don't, if you don't rather, I think that if you don't call someone stupid when they're actively being stupid, you kind of like you you create <laughs> you create an environment that isn't authentic and so in order to think you have to risk being offended and sometimes you exactly. you need to you need, you need to risk being offended exactly risk and for the biscuit. if you do get called stupid right like it depends on how much you value the opinion of the individual that's calling you stupid like sticks and stones type of thing with the person that gets called stupid it doesn't necessarily mean that you are unless you believe it and at that point, it, it matters with your what your goal is. If you're asking somebody or you're telling somebody they're stupid, and your goal is to help them improve, it yeah, like you have to know that person. You have to know whether or not that person responds well to negative or to harsh criticism. If that person doesn't respond well to it, and you're doing it still, and your goal is to help, then you're actively dissuading or you're actively hurting the situation rather than helping it. So yeah, if you're, but don't you think people could just like be a little bit less sensitive about it? People could be whatever you you know whatever you would prefer, but that's not usually how people are. People you have take people for how they are, and if you're actively trying to help them, you nice. and that's your goal, then you realize that they don't know they're doing wrong. They are more than likely stupid, but by pointing it out, like. Unless that person responds well to that kind of criticism, you're not right, really. So helping. when I said, so when I said earlier, that's stupid. How did you interpret that? Uh, that would you say that too? I don't know. I probably didn't even register it. I maybe was <laughs> not. Th I wasn't thinking it. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. So yeah, like you, you could take argument that. How did you? How did you? How did you take that, ZZ? Because I said it to you. Oh, okay. You called me stupid. Is that, what is you're that how you about? took it? Well, is that how you took it? Well, I'm not. How a, did you take it? I'm not a very good. Uh, Rub the ass. Yeah, I'm not a very ah! good uh, uh, example here because I was in the military, so I was exposed no. to a lot of bullying. So I, I need to stay impartial. So you know did I mean? did you take it as me bullying you? No, I took it as you just speaking 
and you know, but just talking. Funny, just guess. if it was an insult or not, I just took it like words. You if know you I mean? had to translate that to a, another person that didn't speak English, how would you tr how would you translate that? I would translate that in Spanish. So let's say oh. that this, no person is, boa, this person is telling you like that you're like a fucking retard. You know, okay, so this yeah. is where the miscommunication comes in, ZZ. I didn't call you stupid. I said that's stupid. Meaning yeah. the, the the idea that you stated was not was was basically not good. So I think you should just not be sensitive and really take it for what it is. It's not entirely about you unless the idea itself is you. In which case, I think you need some help. You know. So you're saying unless you're being attacked. Really make... You're saying unless it's Correct. like a personal attack on you. It's not a personal attack. I no, said, you're saying that unless stupid. it is. Unless they're like personally, unless it's, yeah, it's different. If I said you're stupid, if I said hey you're stupid, that's that's direct harm, right? I'm doing attack on you. Direct. Harm. But that's not what I said. I that's said stupid, that's no. stupid. Yeah, See, so you you were speaking so objectively. Um, I think Mauro, that, that makes sense to me as well. But I I'm I maybe some people are stupid. That that you know that, that right? To, that's the uh, point that I'm trying to get right at. It, ZZ is a great example, even though he said he wasn't. He didn't see it that way. He took it as a personal attack, and yeah. I don't. It's just in most cases we should be open to having the language of of saying that's stupid, so that people could get used to these ideas of oh. oh. It's not I a personal it as you, attack on you thought, me. Yeah. This is just the idea. It's just not. It's just not that great. But here's the thing. There's a way of communicating that's a little yeah, more specific. I'm not, I'm not that disagreeing that, there's, would that be... there's, there's no better way to communicate, right? There's. I think there's always improvements for for communication. Absolutely, hundred percent. But yeah, one I think of them is not that calling. The... Being able to say that that's stupid is because that's what you want to say to give it you know make like if you screen a, a group of uh, like a hundred people i'm sure the majority would prefer not to be called stupid so if your goal yeah, is I to can... help people in any way and you want to be heard when you communicate with people but i also probably think shouldn't call setting, it stupid. the setting that in which i said it in was also appropriate it's not like i'm at, at work in a, in a in a meeting with a bunch yeah. of yeah, executives yeah. Saying, hey, interpersonal and no personal relationships should be handled the same no matter what situation you're in like i think no like, I th you should treat people pretty equally no matter the standard to that's me cool. stupid cool. is a word but it's but it's but what i'm trying to say is that there are times where you could be a lot more professional and be more accurate or i guess what you're trying to say is um I don't know how to it, but better yeah but that, that that's right? that's better when your goal when the goal is not but i don't to... i don't think that's always necessary all uh... the time all right, right. Talk again. There we go. What were you going to say, Adam? Stupid is a word that that is only ever uttered to make the person saying it feel better. It's never intended to actually be constructive. There are there are ways to be constructive with other people and say, like, this isn't well thought out, or this is wrong for this reason, or... Or constructive being, is or, not... Yes, yeah. This is true for any word. Stupid is just a word that's... It's like, it's like just an emotive... It's impressive. It's bad. Impressive it's just an this, expression yeah. of... Of your of frustration. Trying to no. demean someone. It's okay, it's That's okay. It doesn't have is. to be frustration. It could just be just disagreement. I don't know oh, this person this... didn't like this idea. Yeah, but what your your attempt in by calling them stupid, you're just self soothing. Stupid. Or or by, uh, yeah, by using it. It's self soothing. Stupid. That word is just self soothing. Um, it. one of in the things opinion. that I that I noticed as well, Mo, is that there might there might be like a um under not an underestimation but an underappreciation of the type of individual that you're using that language with like most of the time like your homies are probably going to be you're going you're going to be able to use it with us cuz most of us have a thick skin but you might not necessarily use it as freely with somebody who you know who you can just perceive might not have that same thick skin does that make sense or who just hasn't gotten used to the way you communicate yet but like just like you know boys in the locker room you developed the thick skin, and all of a sudden, now you're now you're a lot tough. Now you became a man, and you're a lot tougher, and you can handle the heat because you've trained, you've gone through that manlyhood. You're not wrong in the form of like, you know, handle the heat is the, the, is... what I'm taking tonight. I'm taking that home from this conversation. <laughs> this fucking guy. So you can handle the heat. If not, don't even get in the kitchen, baby. Leave it for the pros.
And you called you called ZZ baby. That's not nice for all. I, blush I don't give a fuck. He's blushing right now. He loves blush it. Easily. My nuts blush first in my face. I think if we can get to left uh, or not the right one, which one the first? If we can get into a society where people do call each other stupid, but they have enough. Uh, faith in themselves or belief in themselves or support in themselves that it doesn't yeah. matter because yes. we're you know that that is a maybe a utopian society that i'm imagining is no, not necessarily it real utopian you just i think the utopian um, society is catering to people's fragility i think this evolved society lets people have complete sentences and thoughts without cutting them off <laughs> 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 I don't think I don't think no! I don't think we should no! normalize demeaning go, go demeaning no. behavior. Like I think it should be we should focus on trying to be constructive. It's like in solo queue. When you're playing solo queue, one thing people do is they call their teammates shitty and they shit talk their team and they say, "Oh, you're feeding." What is it? What, what does that do? That makes every that makes the person tilt. That makes you more likely to lose. And yeah, you can defend and say, oh, well, they're, I'm trying to help them improve. That doesn't help them improve. You're doing that just to express your frustration and make yourself feel better. I don't think that should be normalized. Or you're making them aware of the actions that they're taking. You're not. Maybe maybe they're not aware that they're <laughs> Jordy's in the evil stuff. side. Yeah. That's you just, the Jordy, by the way. you just interrupted Jordy. That's, uh... I think interruptions is fine in, in, a, in an argument. I don't think interrupt. No, because then if you interrupt me and I interrupt you, who gets out complete thoughts? The person who speaks louder. What kind of uncivilized way of communication is that? You gotta buy. I mean, I you, know, you taught me. I don't know what I'm talking about. You had you had expressed a complete thought. You said you show them what they did wrong. That's a complete thought, and I disagree. What the fuck? I'm not familiar with the noise making. Why are we doing this? Where the minority, dude? Yeah, the minority. In New Zealand, they were putting up a bill for uh for vote, and the like the indigenous people they um they did a tribal chant thing the the haka they did a haka to like filibuster essentially and protest the the vote that was coming up. It's a great great way to put it, man. That's fucking out. That's well said. Yeah. Google Such a legal way of describing the scenario without uh, biasing it in any direction. You know? So just to recap, Mao, Sepi, Torta, uh, where do you stand? So it's it's bad, or is it just an interpretation of how it was said or how it was You have to re-explain the whole thing for you. No, no, it, it depends. No, you don't. It, it depends on the context that you're trying to... Your goal. But most of the time it's going to be bad. For communication wise with other humans, it's going to be bad to choose to speak like that. Earlier, I made the argument that it's, although sometimes I will do that by mistake or out of emotion, I think it's never the right option, I would argue. Uh, I would disagree. I would say that there's people like may, anybody who's gone through the military and has gone through that kind of training is responds very well to like, they listen here, stupid motherfucker, god damn it, get in the fucking line. Like, they, they just, that's, that works. It, it works. It helps people. See, see. CC told us that things. they renounced their yeah. amendments. It worked, it worked for me yeah. when I was training with George at the gym. He'd call me a fucking pussy-ass gay boy. Lift that weight, you fucking pussy. <laughs> and then I fucking lifted it because I'm not a fucking pussy-ass gay boy, bitch. Yeah. It didn't work for me. I didn't like that. I, I was like, I, I would got... prefer if I wasn't insulted while trying to lift this heavy weight, please. It's I'm... true, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I am enjoying myself <laughs> quite. <laughs> I don't want to be insulted right now. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't insult me. I just want to live. Wow, you're getting a good laugh out of this. <laughs> Zizi, so... did they yell at you too much at the military? Is that what happened? No, I'm just, I'm just curious because, um, oh, I don't have any feelings or your sanity left, so it's impossible <laughs> to like hurt my feelings because they don't exist. But my point is. I just wanted well, to see where well, you guys were at, well, you know? Because if you can call me like a dumbass, a beaner, an illegal, an immigrant, whatever the fuck you want to call me, like it's not gonna. Okay, but that's different. All. I think those other words that you were that you were saying, using the word, you gave me the example, stupid. No, oh, yeah, stupid and retard. Because see, this is what. But uh, if the someone calls you earlier. a beaner, that's like, that's a totally different thing now 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 yeah. it becomes fucking it's a hate racial thing like that's unnecessary. I hate retards. What, what about that? Yeah, see, I like, don't think it's. 
I want to revise my statement. Hey, is, hey, my is it a, is it is it hateful for me to call somebody retarded if I just you, I mean, know, you were hating hate retards? Retard. I, think, I think hate in general is pretty <laughs> is pretty much a bad thing, but hate but is pretty retarded <laughs> for the most part. Sometimes hate could be a good motivator. Yeah. Uh, no. Fair. Well, it, I mean, yes, it will be a good motivator for action. If, that, if, if you're just looking for an agitator, hate will work. Yeah, I was just curious to see hey, you I... stand on that, you know? That's all, I was just curious. Hey, I just met you. I think it depends where does, on the... uh, where does Jordy stand on this? On what? I, I don't know. Who is he going with? He's on the me. dark side. <clears throat> I don't know what the question was, but if it's whether or not I would call somebody stupid, I would call somebody stupid. <laughs> do you think, do you think it's would be so sensitive to get your fucking feelings hurt about it? Just go understand fuck that you're go fuck a goat. <laughs> like, do you I think it's a different thing to discuss how one should react to being called stupid, and it's a totally different question. Should one call someone else stupid? That I think I agree. Question. You shouldn't. You shouldn't fucking be upset when someone calls you stupid. You should not give a shit. But that doesn't mean it's okay or right to call someone stupid. I see your point, Adam. I and I easy stupid. That's also another. That was the argument that I was put forth about. Oh, we know. Even though yeah. you say that's semantics. I mean, you're talking. That's, that's true. Like, people I, are I, interpreting I, it as a personal attack, and and I feel like that's more of a real world scenario where. It's well, like, people feel identified with their thoughts, and when you call their thoughts stupid, yeah, they do then, their thoughts, yeah. then yes, you exactly. are calling them stupid. So you're expecting people to do a lot of work before they meet you. People to don't be honest, parse to be, language like a computer. Yeah, like to be capable of like dealing with what you're saying. So it's it's just better yeah, to not know how I operate. If I say that, to not stupid, assume that much, like as a personal thing. Well, no, uh, well, we know we know how you mean yes. it because we know you. But people who might not know you might not necessarily come to that same conclusion. Do you think uh, immediately? Yeah, I know. I, I'm I'm already having this conversation with people at work. Did you no. call them stupid? Um... Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> in a memo. In a memo. <laughs> oh God. I didn't call them stupid. Something. I asked I if they were stupid. That's not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't call the person stupid, or I didn't use the word stupid or retarded. But I simply, in a professional manner, but also in a condescending way, I expressed my disappointment in their ability to do what oh, they were, man. what they, what they said their skills were to do, and then they proceed to interpret that as a lecture like they were getting it from their father. A lecture is what we're I mean, giving it sounds like people. you were giving them a lecture. <laughs> yeah, I was. And I was, and I did it in front of a, lo a bunch of other... Oh, you know, no, Mercy. Oh, man, manager. that's worse. And yeah. then... They're going to make you take some mandatory classes you're really not going to like, Mercy. You probably, <laughs> you probably need to take some, buddy. <laughs> They're going to make you take some mandatory classes that you're going to... Hey, brother, you're going to come in here and be so mad. I don't even know when it happened. But the guy, the guy just proceeded. <laughs> to... We're done. I, it's, just, it's one thing to, to, here's, here's the problem that I had in this situation. Okay. In the beginning of the project, I had already did enough. Inf I've already looked up enough information and understand what the problem is for me to be able to provide what the solution is. And I gave what the it's solution problem, was. Bro. But this, in, this, in, this engineer disagreed with my solution and said, no, we have to do it this way. Even though. Jesus. I have all of the facts and 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 uh, all, everything that states that no, this it needs to be this way. He proceeds to go ahead and do the take the action which he thought was the solution. I then proceeded to have issues that I told him beforehand was going to be the issues. And when I when I presented the issues again, the manager stepped in and said, "What is the problem here?" And that's when I proceeded to explain to them. This is what I requested. I'm this working with I'm... a buffoon. I had, <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm extremely disappointed with this individual's <laughs> course, of, course of actions and, and him being able to be, be able to do his fucking job. He needs to be able to provide solutions <laughs> and it's my that, job or? to figure out how to get it paid. That's the bottom line of this relationship. Did you say the F word? I, I'm, I don't know. I kind of I just went red, so I might have. I don't know. And then... He got angry and told your boss, you mean to me. Pretty much. No, he basically told me in front of his boss as just like that he felt like he was getting lectured by his father and he didn't like that. 
um, why why do you feel the need to lecture him as if he was your kid? I, was, I wasn't. Is it because him. you want a kid of your own? My frustration <laughs> and the inadequacy of his performance. And if he would have just followed instructions and actually took the time to listen to what it is that I was requesting, I would not have been in the situation that I was in. But yeah, you should take a ship, Elmo. It's not that serious. Well, I, I mean, think it was that government. Oh, sorry, you guys don't know about it. We're going to say, Adam? You're running into incompetence in the government, Mauricio? No Ooh, way. Bro. I can't believe that. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't think I want to say what I was going to say, Seppi. You go ahead. Uh, um, well, I, I was going to say that I agreed with your point earlier that one should technically be impeccable with their words. Like there was a point where Andrea and I were just like Post. at the very beginning. Yeah, we're ready for I'm foes, by on. the way. At the very beginning of our relationship, Andrea at one point heard me drop an N bomb because I grew up in South Florida with all you motherfuckers, and we used to drop it all, you know, amongst <laughs> each other. Like it didn't really matter. But up here, it's a little different in Chicago, and so her argument, like to me, it was like initially, you know, she was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe." I'm getting married to a racist. I was like, hold the fuck. Hold oh, on. No. I'm not racist, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm you know, obviously, I'm not I fucking racist. Yeah, I'm black. I'm not racist. I'm not. I'm not. I'm literally not. Like, I can use the N-word. And I'm if not logic's racist. black, I can say it. If logic can and say it, so, I can say it. I identify yeah, as And so, but, but, but her point, eventually, after we got through the emotional side of it, is that one can express themselves in a way that is a higher form of expression, right? One can always, one can always use better words, find a way to encourage as opposed to admonish, and if anything, be impeccable with your word, right? So yep. being impeccable with your word is important. And if there was, if this guy didn't take the time to listen, I'm, I'm not disagreeing that this person is probably stupid and is and having some kind of daddy issues that he's projecting on you, Mal. Right. But it's also technically a call to how, how well are you, how, how good are you at influencing or like at communicating right could you yeah. have communicated something a little better yeah. could you have it's a call to improvement with you and technically your defensiveness is yeah. an in an uh, 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 a an inability to let things go uh, yeah an inability to admit that perhaps that might be a reflection of your own shortcoming as well i'm so happy i i let you speak instead of me Seppi, because you said exactly what oh, i wanted to say top. but you yeah. put it beautifully Seppi. My pants got them beating is me. Se like, Sebi, can you, this could can have you, been an opportunity can to. Can you repeat that? My fucking but headset I, died, man. There you go. I can Here's a question. Do. Mauricio, Fuck. do you agree that Sorry, that was so good what you said, or died. do you think you were justified in saying what you said? Uh, I was just really upset with the things that he was saying in front of the managers, and I had to call him out for his shit. And this is, and that's part of the reason why I could, I said the things that I said. But I mean, do you and think means that I never said certain things, and then I pulled out the receipts and I and I said, on this day, I emailed you the this I'm information. Fire. This, this is where, you, where where you took my information and you told me that it was incorrect. Where in fact, right now, I'm I'm experiencing issues where I told you that this was going to be an issue, and then at that point, everybody everybody else in the meeting was just like, well, he has a point. You made a judgment call. You didn't give him the, what it is that he requested. Like it, the the transaction is supposed to be this: I request something from him, and he's supposed to provide that. And if he can't provide that, then he's supposed to give me alternatives. He didn't do any of that. He says he so he blatantly said, "You're wrong," and this is what I'm going to do. And then he ended up being wrong. So because he made that decision, he needs to own up in being wrong. And he didn't own up. Instead, he 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 lied to everybody and saying, "I was never told this." And I was like, "No, motherfucker, that's yeah, not." Yeah. Th then at this point, you had nothing more that you had to prove. Like once this was, like you got the dub, and but then why, yeah, like, the impeccable you, way to handle it. Oh, sorry, sorry. And that's why I saw red it was because of that. But it was. Yeah. Could I have handled this situation better? Yeah, I think I could definitely handle the situation better where I would have had been a lot less aggressive in that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that would have been 2020. Yeah. You could yeah. have just taken that, would have been a lot more graceful. Yeah, like, I'm like a fucking six year old. I don't know. I'm, I'm working. You don't need to right? say anything. I, after I the, hate that when people don't the want to own their L's. 
Oh, okay. He fucking hates you know, another thing too, Mal, is that I, I like you, it, it's, it's a very tough position to be in because like, you know, that you can draw the sword, you know, <laughs> that you can win, right? You, you have, you have the logical, re, you have logic on your side. You have reason on your side. You have proof. You know that what this person is saying is a lie. They're basically like throwing a tantrum, right? So like <sighs> it puts you in a position where you are fully in the in the in the right to draw your sword and like slice this person down but then the onlookers and even this person start to look at you in a in a it could it could seed resentment or Can it I could give seed, an, like a direct example of this like that i'm dealing with at work <laughs> that for sure <laughs> i think <laughs> that would be good i'm currently dealing with a situation somewhat similar in which i have a i have exactly yeah. what seppi's talking about like an employee who is open mouth like open uh openly talking shit like on work about things that are basically just lies and it culminated in like the new hire wanting to quit because of toxic environment and it being caused by this one person and them being just a shitter pretty much i have full range from upper owner management to do what i want get rid of this in person and I'm sorry? stop dealing with this like menace Absolutely. or i could uh kind of go for another option which would be more graceful I, i'm gonna go for the option where i give this person a opportunity to get a higher okay, status like a shift lead position AP support let's go vager and uh what was the let's thing that oscar was playing with vager mm. Um, Ziggs. No, I'm still with you. Yeah, Vegas 6. Yep, Let's yep, do that's it okay. You want to do it? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Basically, I know that this person is not angry at me, and the things that they're talking shit about the, the, of me uh, personally is just, it's garbage, it's bullshit, it's yeah. objectively wrong. Uh, I have the backing from my whole team to do what I wish. I could easily just get rid of this person and fire them. But rather than that, I'm understanding why they're actually angry, and it's that they've been at this job for a year and a half. And they haven't had any opportunity to like move up or do anything and they're just expressing it on shift by being angry about shit that doesn't matter and like ruining the vibe for everybody mm -hmm. so rather than just get rid of this employee who's not terrible he's just angry for a stupid reason give them an opportunity and like actually give them what they want they want an opportunity to grow so i'm gonna just put them and recommend them for like uh to take Fire the management them. class to take the management class eventually streamlining him to get the fuck out of my shop because he's just going to be a man. He's going to be like a, a shift lead elsewhere. So I gets rid of that problem with me, and it makes him happy in a way that doesn't make me have to fire him and replace him in the middle of the Christmas season. Nah, just fire him in the middle of Christmas season, so he knows I'm next I'm time he should be on point in his life. Stop being a <laughs> mediocre bitch. That's what I he could, deserves. I could easily do that. Be be on December. <laughs> be fucking hungry. Don't have no <laughs> gifts. Family yeah, and be better in your fucking life, you fucking bitch. I could, that's I could not my approach that. too, but you know, that's if tough. If I were the business owner, I would like, do that. But I'm just the manager, and I don't up. want the whole team to like explode. You're soft. You so be... fuck the team. Let the team explode. Yeah, if okay. you were managing my shop, I would let you manage it how the fuck you want. Let me not nice. thinking about that shit. Aquí me, me, van, me meten de manda. Ah, pero, eh. Aquí, uh, I'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but if I slip up and I say the wrong word, I don't call him out. Oh, right they name. ban Vega, bro. We're super fucked. Nah, bro. Heavy is the crown, essentially. It's never a simple they decision. They ban Vega. We're fucked. We're gonna go. We're gonna yeah. go. More. We're gonna ban too. <laughs> this is oh, an opportunity Vigar? to react oh, creatively, Mauricio. You chose, like, easy reaction. Anybody wants to play this? No, I doubt it. Oh shit. Uh, this is interesting because they banned Vega. Our, our entire strategy is thrown. Yeah, and I did not notice that, bro. We can still make it work. Can I play AD or AP? What do you guys think? I think did I already got... lock in? Uh... I already locked in. Never mind. Precision. <laughs> do I press press the attack? Do I press press the attack? For this shit? Jordy, where's Jordy? Fuck! Ash, how do I play? I, I, we don't have great knockups, Mauricio. Lethal huh? tempo. Lethal tempo? Uh, we have what six. else? So, uh, the ruin on the right, the ruin on the right. 
Then the rune on the left, and you're gonna go uh, inspiration tree, approach velocity, and biscuit. You think we need the And the last one? Last time? I think you pick Yasuo when your team has his lockups and you don't pick it when they don't. I'm gonna go inspiration. Yeah, secondary is gonna be inspiration. Velocity? Approach velocity and biscuit. We had zigs for knockups. That's what I have.